Hi, everyone. I'm Kat, Community and Engagement Manager for Lean Agile Global 2021. In the lead up to the live virtual conference on 24th and 25th May this year, I will be introducing you to some of the fantastic speakers in our lineup. Today, I'm delighted to introduce to you uh, Juana Junku, Agile Leadership and Business Facilitator at CoMerge. Welcome, Juana. Welcome, Kat. Thank you for having me here today. I am really, really excited to, uh, to participate in this fabulous community and the Lean Agile Global Conference. Awesome. Well, thank you. It's great to have you here. Um, I've prepared five questions for you today um, to get started with the first one. How would you describe yourself in a single tweet? Agile leadership and business DJ mixing whatever practices make individuals and uh, organizations proud of their outcomes. I love that. DJ, what an excellent way to describe yourself. I love that. Fantastic. And I love mixing it. <laughs> yeah, mixing. Yeah, yeah. Listening, you know, listening to the field, you know, the, 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 the social field created by a by a community or a team or an organization and really um, offering what is best for them. That's wonderful. Yeah. I love that. Great. Well, all right. Continuing on then, um, in your opinion, why should people come and join us virtually at Lean Agile Global this year? Well, the first major reason is because it's a great warm, welcoming community. Then because it is global, and that is uh, for, for me, the magic of the, of the virtual is that we can see and meet people uh, all over the world that uh, would have, uh, have some uh, trouble eventually traveling, but now we really can reach each other. You know, let's feel it at the end of our fingers, we can really reach everyone in the world. So that's, that's the second reason. And the, the third, uh, I don't know if it's last, but definitely not least, is the wonderful content, um, content that the people uh, and the speakers are offering uh, and, and the welcoming, as I said, a welcoming uh, organization team you are part of. Oh, so thank, thank you. For that. you. Awesome. And, and that's really what we want to create, right? We're hoping to create a very inclusive, warm conference that, you know, whether you've been coming to them for years or it's your first time, someone will be there welcoming you, happy to have you there. And, you know, as great as you said that a virtual conference is allowing us to reach the entire world, it is very hard to, to get that networking aspect that we used to get. Um, so we are trying very, very hard this year to ensure that we can include everyone and we can make them feel warm and welcome. Yes, yes. Well, drinking beers together, it's the, <laughs> the part that we, we will miss. Yes. I think that, <laughs> that, you know, feeling each other uh, and talking uh, in a very uh, warm way around food <laughs> yes. it's something that it's the only the only connection that we all cannot can make so, yeah, yeah. I, I completely agree I'm a big hugger myself of people I know and strangers so <laughs> I do I do miss I do miss you know being able to just share my excitement and my warmth and my love with people so hopefully again soon <laughs> good amazing yeah, well, yeah yeah hopefully we can we can share soon some undigital love <laughs> yes exactly exactly awesome well um so we've talked a little bit about inclusivity but at lean agile global we do want it to be a truly diverse and inclusive conference so what what does that mean to you well inclusive is um it is is a difficult state of mind uh, I think, I mean, it's harder than we think <laughs> because what true inclusive means for me is including people that have different opinions than ours. <laughs> yes. That is, that, that is really the, the, 
um, the profound definition of inclusion for me, because we can include uh, people that apparently are different from us, you know, yeah. it's uh, gender balance, so that, that, that's, that's okay, we can, uh, and that's a good thing to, to be, um, to pay attention to that. We can uh, include people that uh, have different disabilities, as we say today. Uh, well, you know, what disability means is another thing because uh, what is normal. So uh, I don't like to say disabilities, but that's, it was just an example to say that we can include people that have apparent differences, differences uh, yeah. between them. But um, including people that have different opinions and uh, like opposite opinions and really um, listening to them, that is for me the hardest piece. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. And I think, you know, it is, it is a very big statement of us to say that we want to create a diverse, diverse and inclusive conference because that is, as you said, it's truly difficult. You know, it's not just, um, you know, it's not just our physical um, or our mental states, it's even our hearts, our opinions that are, that are no. different um, and diverse and, and want, you know, so it's very, it is truly very difficult, but fingers crossed, we'll, we'll do our best to do a great job this year <laughs> I, I, i'm i'm sure i'm sure that that the uh, wonderful lean agile global conference will will step forward than our confirmation biases <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, um, so specifically then about your talk why should people come and join you in your session at the conference well if whatever people are interested in um in change and deep change uh, uh, th that means personal change or also change in terms of a collective as a, as a team if they're interested in that i think my talk can help them uh, go into a deep dive of what change means uh, because i don't know if uh, if you have, have experienced the aspiration of, of a group of community change you have to become agile for example or other types of change or individuals say i would like to be more so and so um, and um, well, as i observed as a coach as a um, personal coach and as a team coach is that there is a tension between the aspiration of change and what is really happening on the field and uh, i have developed um, um, a program and a model that is based on working with our fears because i um i realized that fears uh are those strings invisible strings that pull us back without knowing to the status quo that we might not like, but it's, hey, it's known. <laughs> so um, I would say that people that would like to really connect to a purpose, as individual, as I said, as a, a team, and to what is really beyond and deeper than our, uh, than our fears, because we cannot uh, overcome our fears. Years. That's what I'm saying. We can just all face it with compassion. <laughs> yeah. So if people are interested in deep change and how fears can be our friends, then uh, they are most than welcome in, uh, in my talk. Lovely. And, you know, I think change is a very important topic, as you said, both personally and professionally because change is happening all around us all the time and you know everyone whether they fully understand it at this time or not are going through changes and especially for example in this virtual world we've all had to change so suddenly and i'm sure there's lots of fears holding different people back about this new and different world that we've been immersed in so i truly think that your talk will be very important and you know very very um uh, I, I don't want to say, e I don't want to say easy, but I want to say very, um, hopefully easy for people to take on board and understand a little bit about themselves. 
Oh, thank you, thank you. I, I love the fact that, that you say that it's, it should be easy because this is exactly what I want to bring in, you know, uh, drop the complexes uh, around fears, you know. Uh, we, it can be easy to work uh, with our fears. And I, I love what you say about, about change. Uh, life is change. I mean, yeah. while we are alive, we are changing continuously. Yeah, that's that's so true. And in the same time, mentally, uh, and that, that was why I want to bring, we do fear uncertainty. We we uh, really have this conversation in in our own mind that uncertainty threat. Yes. Threat triggers fear. <laughs> mm -hmm. So but that, all that is unconscious. I yes. Mean. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love I completely agree. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Great. Well, to um, to just wrap this up then. Thank you so much for your time. I have a bit more of a personal question for you rather than professional. Um, what are you most looking forward to after COVID has started to settle down? Well, I, I think I started to somehow answer the question, the, your third question, when you were um, asking the first question, what I really, really want is hug people <laughs> and participate <laughs> in, in presence in conferences. Yeah. So meet uh, this dear community and uh, yeah, hug people in general. <laughs> yes, good, good. Really? I love a good hug. <laughs> good hug yeah. yeah yeah amazing well thank you so much Juana for your time I really appreciate you you know taking this little bit of time with me to get to know you and introduce you to the community um, I'm really looking forward to as I've said your talk during the conference so hopefully others listening to this will be interested and intrigued to come listen to you as well Oh, yes, yes thank you thank you for an invitation so yeah everybody is is welcome to to step in this wonderful um, and uh, worrying, but still wonderful uh, adventure and journey of change where fears are our guides. And just to finish it, all this work was very much inspired by Joseph Campbell, uh, who wrote The Hero with a Thousand Faces. He's a mythologist. And the quote I want to offer to to the people that are listening to us, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasures you are always were looking for. Oh, so I that's love nice. that. I love that. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I think that's an excellent little introduction to what we can expect from you at the conference. So again, Juana, thank you so much for your time and really looking forward to it. Looking forward to participate at the conference. Thank you, Kat. Thank you for having me.